Under the footpads of the lunar module there are some sort of sticks which are hanging. They are in fact lunar probes. Some may have wondered what their function was. In fact the function of these lunar probes is to detect the lunar ground before the footpads touch the lunar ground. Indeed the nozzle of the descent engine is very close to the lunar ground when the lunar module rests on it, and it would be dangerous to the descent engine still firing when the lunar module touches the ground. That's why the descent engine must be shut off a little before the lunar module touches the lunar ground, and the function of these lunar probes is to warn about the proximity of the lunar ground. As soon as one of the lunar probes touches the lunar ground, the descent engine must immediately be shut off. The handbook of the lunar module shows what the length of these lunar probes was. They were 1.7 meter long. The descent table indicates that, when the lunar module was close to the lunar ground, it was descending at a speed of 1 meter per second. It means that when the lunar probes detect the lunar ground, there remains less than 1.7 seconds to shut the engine off. In fact there remains even less than that, for the descent engine should be shut off before the lunar module is too close to the lunar surface. So the descent engine should be shut off after no more than one second after the lunar probes have detected the lunar ground. It means that normally the descent engine was shut off when the footpads of the lunar module were at 1.7 meter from the lunar ground, but was it? So it was happening this way, the lunar probes were touching the lunar ground, at least one of them, and a lamp was warning that the astronauts had to immediately shut off the descent engine by pressing a stop button so that, when the lunar module touches the lunar ground, the descent engine is already off. This is the schema of the interface of detection of the lunar probes. When a lunar probe detects the lunar ground, this interface lights warning lamps instructing the astronauts to press a stop button shutting off the descent engine. This interface contains four transistors. Why four transistors? Simply because this assembly of transistors is mounted in a redundant way which guarantees that, whichever of the transistors fails open or short, the lamps will not be lit before one of the probes touches the lunar ground. The lamps will be lit when one of the probes at least touches the lunar ground. That means that the astronauts will be warned in time about the proximity of the lunar ground, but not prematurely. So, when the astronauts see the probe warning light go on, indicated with a yellow arrow, they are supposed to immediately press a stop button indicated with a red arrow. There are two of them, one for each astronaut probably because, if an astronaut had a problem, the other one still can take care of shutting off the engine. Now the problem is that, between the moment that the astronaut in charge of shutting off the engine sees the warning light, and the moment that he effectively presses the stop button there is a human reaction time. Between the moment that car driver sees an obstacle and the moment that he presses the brake pedal, there is a reaction time which is usually estimated as being equal to one second. Of course this reaction time depends on the reactivity of people but it is something subjective, not precisely determined. This is the stop button that the astronaut had to press to stop the descent engine. When the astronaut presses the button, after he has released it, there is a spring which brings the button back to its rest position. This is the electrical scheme of the descent engine stop button. You can see that, when the stop button is not pressed, the contact is closed. When the stop button is pressed, the contact opens nothing happens. When the stop button is released the contact is closed again when it reaches its rest position. And then the fact that the contact is closed again sends a pulse which energizes a core which allows to shut the descent engine off. So when the astronaut presses the stop button nothing happens, the descent engine is not stopped. After the astronaut has released the button, this one comes back to its rest position closing the contact again, which allows to shut the engine off at that moment. 
This animation shows what happens on the electrical schema when the astronaut presses and releases the stop button. When he presses the button the contact is opened and nothing happens. After the astronaut releases the button it comes back to its rest position, closing the contact again. And then, a pulse is sent into a coil allowing to shut the engine off at that moment. So the astronaut presses the stop button? If he thinks that simply pressing the button will stop the descent engine, he is wrong. It's only after he has released it and the stop button has come back to its rest position that the engine is effectively stopped. Have the astronauts been warned that they had to immediately release the button after they had pressed it to effectively stop the descent engine? We can have doubts about it. Now imagine that in the excitation of the moment, the astronaut presses the button, but forgets to release it. The descent engine will not be stopped. Even if he knows that he must immediately release the stop button after having pressed it, it makes another delay which is added to the reaction time to press the button. Now could it have been made more effectively? Yes, absolutely it could. Indeed the detection interface of the lunar probes contains electromechanical relays which have been framed. What is an electromechanical relay? In fact an electromechanical relay is a switch which can be activated, not by man, but automatically by a current which is sent into a coil. Then the coil attracts by induction a switch. An electromechanical relay could perfectly have been used to instantly shut the descent engine off. It would have been much more efficient than asking the astronauts to do it when they see a warning light go on. There would have been no delay to shut the engine off, it would have been neat and precise, the engine would have been stopped in time. So what do we have now? We have the weird procedure which has been chosen by the engineers. The detection of lunar probe simply lights a warning lamp and does nothing else. Upon seeing this warning lamp go on the astronaut presses a stop button, but he does it with unpredictable human reaction time. The astronaut presses the stop button, but the descent engine is not stopped yet, for the stop button still has to be released to come back to its rest position. The moment that the astronaut will release the stop button is also unpredictable, that makes new delay which adds to the reaction time to press the button. So, to summarize, between the moment that the warning light goes on and at the moment that the engine is effectively stopped, there is an unpredictable delay which can perfectly go over the maximum time allowed for shutting the engine off. We also have the normal procedure which should have been chosen that is an electromechanical relay automatically shutting off the engine, and, in that case it would have been neat and precise. The engine would have been stopped at the exact right moment. Seriously do you really think that the engineers would not have chosen the normal procedure if they had intended to do things seriously? Now why is it so important that the descent engine would be stopped before the lunar module touches the lunar ground? On this close-up of photo of Apollo 11 S11 50 50 864, you can see that the nozzle of the descent engine is very close to the lunar ground. If the descent engine had still been firing at this moment, it would have severely damaged the structure of the lunar module. And in Apollo 15 it still was worse, for the lunar module did not land correctly, and the nozzle of the descent engine hit the lunar ground. If the descent engine had still been firing when the descent engine hit the lunar ground, it would have been absolutely catastrophic. This is what they say in the dialogue of Apollo 15. Owen. We did hit harder than any of the other flights. And I was startled, obviously when I said, bam. Laughing. And I think they didn't particularly appreciate my comment, that he made a hard landing on the moon. 
of the engineers have imagined a procedure for landing which had every chance to end in a catastrophic way. But what does it matter if the lunar module never landed on the moon?